Before you were born, before your parents, your grandparents, before you even had a family line, there was the illusion, the trick, the lie, that you lived on a small spinning rock, flying through space. You thought it was true, because children don't believe in lies, and you grow up. And it was still true, because science is never wrong. Except for small things like lead gasoline, lead paint, DDT, cigarettes not causing cancer, and what the core of the earth looks like. You know that fire burns, water is wet, drop something and it falls to the floor. We can all test these things. What shape is the world? That's not something you know, it's something you're told. To put it simply, you just have to take their word for it. And there's the real crux of the problem. The weight of their word. It's really about trust. Most of us trust science to some degree. To be fair, it has produced some modern conveniences, like air conditioning, light bulbs, and smartphones. But it also made things like atomic weapons, nerve gas, and napalm. Make no mistake, the greatest advances in science have been in different ways to kill each other. What if, after centuries of preaching the globe as a religious icon, the powers that be found out that it was actually not a sphere, but instead something much different? Would they risk unraveling 500 years of science doctrine by informing the public? Could a government still retain its authority if there were actually proof of a higher power? It's about proving the flat earth, but more importantly, it's about disproving the globe. And that shouldn't be possible, but there are several big questions which science has a difficult time with. Why was there only one blue marble image used for 43 years? Where are the videos of the Earth rotating from space? Astronauts can't turn around in space with the camera running? Not even by accident? Are the Van Allen radiation belts dangerous? Why does the Orion trial by fire video exist? Why was the space shuttle program cancelled? Why does the Mars mission keep getting postponed? Why are they closing down the ISS? And why does this topic, compared to any other, conspiracy or not, make people excited, angry, or scared? Some of you are getting anxious just listening. Why? Because it's the greatest trick of all, and we all fell for it. You should be excited, because it's going to change the world. You should be angry, because you were fooled your entire life. And you should be a little scared, because this is uncharted territory. This is the Flat Earth Theory. That the world is easy to understand, more intimate, and very deliberate. It didn't just happen, it was built. And more importantly, built for you. Open your eyes and smile. You have never been alone.